today we're going to make a beautiful organite hanger it's like a macrame technique so it's a good way of hanging things that don't have a drilled hole in them and my piece of organite is about four centimeters long and about 1.5 wide and then it's just about one centimeter deep so this is our 0.8 millimeter cotton twine to start off with we need three lengths of 14 inches and one length of 48 inches so I just start by measuring all our lengths out and then we just need to find the middle of all of our twines just putting the ends together and then going to the other end to find the middle finding the middle on all the smaller pieces as well and then popping them together with the longer piece as well and then we're going to tie a little knot right there in the middle And that's going to be the base of our little net there. Just give a little tug on each piece just to make sure that they're all nice and tight. And then this is going to be on the bottom of your piece of organite. We have a bundle of threads on each side of the knot so we just start by grabbing one from each side and then tying a little knot. Not too far down, just probably about one centimetre, it's just enough to go around the corner of the organite but not big enough that the crystal can fit through any of your holes. Then we repeat this process on the other side of the original knot. So just pulling one from each side and tying a little knot there. Trying to make sure our knots are about the same distance away. And pulling them nice and tight. Now we've got these two coming out each side, so we just tie a little knot on each of those as well. About the same distance away from the centre knot. This is sort of our first layer of knots. And then we can move on to the next layer. So we just start by working around and forming the net along the way I grab my organite and just pop it into the net that we're creating and just see how it looks. Sometimes you can see the position that a knot needs to be in. But you can see it's starting to work around each side with the four knots and the four sides of the organite. We're just working onto the next layer of our net. And we're going to do the same technique again, so just grabbing one out of each side and bringing them together and just tying a knot there. When you're doing this, you sort of are grabbing onto the big centre knot and pulling them down so that you're going to get the knots about the same distance apart. For each layer you want the knots in about the same level. And you can always just undo them and tie the knot again if they're not where you want them. Just working around all four of those knots on that level.
we've got our four knots in this layer so I'll just show you how it's sort of starting to form a little net there which is going to sit over the top of our little organite so this part up here with the knot is actually going to be the bottom you can see it's starting to form around the organite there Now we just continue to do the same technique. Just with one hand holding on to that bigger knot, the center knot, and then just grabbing one out of each side and knotting them together. Pulling them nice and tight and just keeping them at that same level. We just continue tying these layers of knots up until you've reached the end of your crystal. You're just checking how far down you've gone and how, how much further you have to go. So you can sort of pull the ends nice and tight but you can see it's still got a little way to go there. So I just keep going until I'm nearly at that end there and then we'll be ready to put our knot on. I find it easier to just do the knots when it's off the crystal on this. If it was like an odd shaped crystal or an odd shaped stone or shell or something like that that I was wrapping, I might hold, hold it in there and actually wrap it on there just so you get the knots in the right space. But because this is a rectangular shape, our knots need to be about the same distance apart for each layer and so it's quite simple to wrap. So you can see we're getting much closer to the top here now. It's up to you whether you decide to put one extra knot there or whether it's sort of looking close enough. It depends on how far away you space your knots. But on this one here, I think I'm just going to do one more knot. It's important that you don't have any holes in your netting that are big enough that the organite can slip through especially at the top or the bottom. It wouldn't matter so much on the side if it's secured in the top and the bottom, but yeah, if you have a hole that's big enough on the top or the bottom, you could just lose your organite. So it's quite important that you have it secured in there with all nice tight knots and so that the organite doesn't have any movement in there. I'm just putting my last four knots on. Your net should be getting pretty nice and long here and then you can slide your little organite piece down inside it. You don't have to do as many knots as I've done as long as they're not big enough that the organite can fit out and obviously you can adjust your lengths for the size of your organite. Now once you've come to this end you can pull all your little tails nice and tight and just make sure that your organite is sitting in the netting nice and tight. Now we've got to the top here, I'm just going to grab two opposite pieces, one out of each side, and just tie them in a little knot just to help secure it. Just a little simple knot, left over right and right over left is fine. And then just grabbing two pieces from the other opposite sides as well and tying them in a wee knot too. So you can see I've done those ones, we're just going to do the side ones now. So just the same, simple knot, right over left and then left over right, pulling that nice and tight. 
Now your sort of net is secured in place, we're just going to grab all of your pieces together, pulling them in an upwards direction, but just making sure they're sitting over the center of your organite. I'm just using one of the long pieces of twine that you've still got left. So just while you're grabbing all those together really nice and tight, then I just wrap around about three or four times. To secure this on, we just tie it in a nice little tight knot with one of these threads that's coming out here. So just grab one from the side and tie that in a nice tight little knot. Just making sure that's super tight. Now you'll have these two nice long strings which are going to be the necklace part. And all these little short pieces, you can just take them off. Just make sure you're not cutting the longer pieces. Nice and short, but then we're going to just singe them with the lighter as well. So just sort of melting them down. I push on them as well just to make sure that they're sort of melted down and fused together. Make sure it's not ever going to go anywhere. So there you should have a beautiful net that's sitting over your organite crystal. And you can just tie a little knot or an adjustable sliding knot on your end pieces there. And then you've got yourself a beautiful pendant or hanger. It's a great way of hanging something that doesn't have a drilled hole in it.